Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugar Loaf of Care, Bassett Valley. Time to take a check of your latest local forecast, which you can always find anytime at our website on all your internet devices at WSKITV.com. And this is brought to you by Village to Go. For today, we're looking at some snow showers, especially early this morning. Uh, we did see about an inch of accumulation or so, so that'll be nice. Summer temperatures topping out in the lower 20s. Base temperatures topping out right around 30 degrees. And we'll see a light west-northwest breeze across the hill. Barely noticeable, and it shouldn't cause any issues at all. All for Wednesday, partly sunny skies, high of 22 at the summit, a high of 31 at the base. So fairly comfortable out there, especially for January. West-northwest wind, 14 to 20 miles at the summit, 8 to 14 down around the base. So not going to be an issue at all once again for Wednesday winds. And then looking ahead towards Thursday, more partly sunny skies with a high right around freezing, low of 19. These lows up high on the mountain allow those snowmakers to continue to blast out the snow. Mostly cloudy skies on Friday with a high of 33, and then a system moves through and we'll see a chance of some snow, possibly some mix down at lower elevations. As you can see, base temperatures topping out around 35. Birchwood Interiors brings you your trail port. Check them out in Village West. 54 trails to ski and ride on. Nine lifts skinny to those runs. 42 trails on the groomers list last night. Loose granular, hard pack surfaces. About an inch of new snow was still uh, kind of spitting out there this morning. So that will groom in and ski nicely. Uh, speaking of grooming, Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, Haywire, Spur Line, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Narrow Gauge, Competition Hill, Sluice, Gondola Line, Candy Side, Lower Winter's Way, Boardwalk, The Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook all around the base area. And heading over towards the east side of the mountain, you'll find groomed runs on Ramdown, Two Hall, Whiffle Tree, Slasher, and Rollway, and West Mountain Trails like Windrow and Scoot. And don't forget the stomping grounds are open, as well as the small park on Tote Road. Snowmaking continues on Wedge, Sidewinder, uh, as well as Upper Timberline, Gondola Line Extension, and Upper Tote Road. And just a reminder, uh, starting at 7 a.m., uphill travel is permitted, uh, mostly over on West Mountain and Windrow. Snubber, Skidway, and Sawduster, those three lifts move you around the base area at 8.30 this morning. So if you're just learning to ski or ride, that's where you want to head. If you want to get a little higher on the hill, check out the Double Runner East chair that'll get you for runs down boardwalk lower winter's way as well as lower narrow gauge skyline and super quad get you higher on the hill pretty much to anywhere you need to go king pine and whiffle tree over on the east side high on the east side is the king pine lift and whiffle tree down lower nice fast super quad and those get going at nine o'clock as well nine o'clock timber line that gets going they bring you up to the second highest mountain in maine right up to the top if things clear out you'll see some gorgeous views from up top there and current conditions at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. They are doing some periodic grooming throughout the week, just trying to hold on to the snowpack. They do need some new snow, but give them a call, 6830, to see other um, activities that they have available currently. Also want to let you know, fat bike trail conditions, things are all right out there. Uh, mead, old gauge, goldenrod, grassy loops are all pretty good. Just lower your tire pressure. Uh, some of the other trails are a bit rutted out, but... Uh, Good for advanced riders if you want to get out there and get those uh, fat bikes on the snow. Roku, if you want to see WSKI on your Roku, we need to get some info from you just telling us that you want to see that and we will send it along to the powers that be. Also, we've got some great stuff going on this weekend. We'll probably do some watch and win. And we also want to let you know to check out this website, resorttvresearch.com slash survey to be in to win a titanium Carver 420 bike from the guys at Bike Man. Have a great day, folks.